Welcome to the course tour. This video is meant to introduce students to what a typical Mount St. Mary College online course looks like. Keep in mind that each instructor may have a different teaching style, and as such, each may structure their course slightly different. However, each course as it is developed must meet certain quality standards that are set forth to ensure that each student can navigate their course easily and successfully. Therefore, you will likely see some commonalities in the design and setup of most MSMC online courses. Let's take a look at Introduction to World Religion. We will use this course to showcase the typical design of an online course. At the top of every course, you will see tabs running across. These tabs are commonly referred to as modules. Modules indicate the assignments for a given week. For instance, Module 1 includes all the work for Week 1. Keep in mind that each instructor may choose to give their tabs actual titles that pertain to what topic is being covered that week. Instructors may also choose to keep a module hidden until they are ready for students to view it. Each course will normally have a faculty information block, which will normally include a picture of your instructor, a welcome letter, a brief biography, and general information that you may need to know, such as office hours and contact information. The Course Information Documents block is normally located on the top left-hand corner. It is where all the important course documents are housed, including the course syllabus and the course calendar. You may also find grading policies, a list of required and recommended textbooks, and so on. Some courses may include a module index, which basically is a running list of the topics each module covers. As you can see, Module 1 is titled Talking and Thinking About World Religion. This can be accessed by clicking the Module 1 tab at the top of the course. The Communications Link tab allows students to create or enter chats with the instructor or other classmates, post to or view some frequently asked questions, or view the Announcements Forum, which instructors sometimes use to communicate important course updates with students. An important tab for all students to be aware of is the Student Resource tab, usually located on the right-hand side of the course. This tab links you to the Online Teaching and Learning Resource Center website, which showcases best practices in online learning, tips for student success, a number of eClass tutorials, and the latest information on upcoming trainings, orientations, and workshops offered by the Office of Online Learning. Now let's explore what a typical online course looks like on the module level. Here is Module 1 of the course Introduction to World Religion. As you can see, this instructor has chosen to provide you with both text and audio versions of the module overviews. The module overview tells you what to expect from a given module. Let's take a look. Module overviews are very important to view on the first day the module is open, so you know what the instructor's expectations are of you that week. An overview will normally give a brief description of that week's topic, a rundown of the required and recommended readings, and any other assignments as they may be required of you. This overview also tells students how the information learned in this week's topic will be applicable to the rest of the course. Let's go back to the module. This specific module requires that students participate in a discussion forum, which is indicated by the green person with the blue comment bubble. This may be the most common type of assignment used by instructors and it will normally be found in every week's module. Each instructor may have different expectations for discussion forums, so be sure to understand them clearly as outlined in your syllabus. This is the format for a typical discussion forum. Normally, the instructor will give you some background information and pose a question or two for you to answer related to the topic. These forums are normally used to engage students with their peers and force them to think critically about the topic at hand. Be sure to answer all questions posed by your instructor in the forum. For more information on best practices in discussion forums, visit the Online Teaching and Learning Resource Center to watch a video on the topic. To post to a discussion forum, click the Add a New Discussion Topic button below the discussion forum description. Once you are there, you will begin to write your response. You also have the ability to add an attachment to your response if necessary. This can be done by manually searching for the document in your folders and by clicking Add, or simply dragging and dropping a file into this section. Once your response is complete, click Post to Forum. Once you post, you will be able to go back to the discussion forum and view your response and any other responses your classmates have posted. Here is what a response would look like. You normally have 30 minutes to edit your response if necessary. 
This concludes the course tour. If you have any questions or concerns, visit the Online Teaching and Learning Resource Center to find a number of helpful resources and tutorials. You may also contact the Office of Online Learning at any time.